Why do I have to believe in the in the uh, why do I have to be a theist of the Christian version to be a good person? That's I don't it. Harm people. That's it. That's it, brother. You just you just I'm not even Muslim. I'm nothing. Brother, you brother, listen, uh Floyd, right? Yeah. Floyd, you just figured out your own problem. Do, do you guys you just see what just happened? All right, you want me to explain to you what you just said? No, yes, sir. All right, here we go. You said, why do yeah. I have to believe? Yeah. That's the reason why you think the Bible's not real. Because you have a problem with God, like I said in the beginning. How? Hey, man. I got to get my other tracks, man. I'm running low. What are you mad at me for, man? Bike, man? What are you mad at me for? I'm just preaching the gospel. Bikes and scooters. <laughs> I don't know why. It's really annoying. <laughs> Give me a pound. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm going to come down to your level. He's nice. I'm going to come down to your level. He's nice. Come on. Tough and you give him a treat, then he's your best friend. All right, look, I got a treat. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Yo, that dog was like, I ain't. He wants the word of God, man. I read, I read about three of you. I read the uh, Quran. And then the I never read it. It's not the word of God. But I also just said I read the Jehovah's Witness version. Mm -hmm. I read Jehovah's Witness version. That's not the Jehovah's Witness version. But I also read the Bible. Bible. I read a lot of them. I have a, I have a question for you. Anything that you're saying, can you prove it? Can I prove it? Can you prove it? Can you can prove I that prove there is no God? I never said there was no God. I said that I said that the Roman Empire uh -huh. burned history books and they corrupted and they altered Whatever Jesus did while he was on this world, I believe Jesus was here. He's a prophet. Or so whatever y'all believe ain't true no more. They 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 done destroyed that. Can you prove that? Can I prove that? Yeah, you could prove that. I I was just explaining to him how how through the legacy of Socrates, the Aristotle, the Alexander the Great, he went on a conquest to destroy all things and all knowledge that was positive, and they burned that the history of Alexandria. They went to the Egypt. They made sure whatever we know now. Ain't the real Dead Sea Scrolls, so that doesn't represent reality anymore. It doesn't represent the pure spiritualism that Moses and everybody, and even during Jesus' time, whatever Jesus was preaching got fucked up. Wait, so you it's messed Moses. up. So you're saying that? I wish we what, didn't know what he preached. So you, you're saying that everything that was written in the Bible is not. That is man's word. That's man's word. And I don't like it because that's not supposed to be right. But, but man, you read, you read it though. I don't read it because there's a lot of positivity in it. Because and when you read the Bible. Uh -huh. Did you desire to have a relationship with God? Yeah, I wish you could. I wish it was possible. You desired to have a relationship with God. Yeah, but I deduced that this that this false. What caused you when you were reading the Bible and you were saying this, this, and this, and this? What caused you to say? What caused you to have doubt? Because, like, basically, I, I I'm not a historian or whatever we call, call it anthropologist, but. I I, I didn't piece together enough where I'm like, okay, this is true, this is true, and that's by your own knowledge, right? Yeah, he's good, we good. My he's own knowledge, and, 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 and public knowledge, history, things that just once you start seeing parallels between like, all right, here's the roof, Euphrates. All right, I know that that area of the Tigris River is Iraq. Okay, boom. Okay, so thanks, let me, thanks. Let me go to a let me go to, let me go to a history book and figure out what was happening. So in you Iraq. went to other man's knowledge. I went other to men other who were not knowledge. of God. I went to he likes fossils. He likes I went to the Bible. He I went to different books and I put things together and I realized like, oh wow. But that was by your knowledge. Yeah, because I got to have my own opinion. That's a smart guy. I like that. So, you know what God's word says about man's knowledge? <laughs> it leads to death. Sure, but what's... Your knowledge is limited. God's word is not limited. But what's wrong with the idea that it's not true? Like, it's rebellion towards God. But it's not not if not if the real one got destroyed and someone wrote the fake one and all they gotta do not not now because we got the internet. So you're talking about versions of the Bible that are been That's distorted and messed up. Too. Okay, so these men that wrote the the books, forty authors yeah. wrote sixty six books. These people who wrote these books and was compiled together to become the Word of God, the Bible. 
you're saying that it's not God's word. I think that it's not. I think that it's it's been recompiled. I think that during the dark ages, during that time frame. But so you do acknowledge that there is a real word of God that's not distorted. Locked up somewhere in one print, maybe got it. Maybe well, let me, let, me it, let me let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I don't I, think we got it. Let me say this to you. It's not locked up somewhere. The Bible is God's word. It would be nice. It is. You know the problem is? I think it's control people. You know what it is? You disagree with God's word. It has good moral values. You disagree with it though. But but I know you do. Look, 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 he's the, the that's the problem. The so it's not God that's the problem. Psalms. Probably Psalms or Revelations. Listen to me. Like it's that. God is not the problem. God's word is not the problem. It's you. I'm not a problem because I'm because I'm and what I mean by you're the problem is it's not you as a person because God loves you yeah. I'm not saying that you what's your name Floyd Floyd I'm Yokus. Oh. I'm not saying Floyd is the problem uh -huh. I'm saying Floyd's sin is the problem your sin your connection to your flesh is the problem because God still loves you he just God still loves like you yeah. Sin. yeah he doesn't love sin I don't like sin either do you have a Bible at home I mean nah we but could give, I, well, I, 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 I have I, a Bible I got access to Bibles I read them I read them you have access to the Bible through the internet yeah, that too. All that. I can give you the Bible here today, and you can reset and try again. This time, having an assistance of us to help you out, to help you out, understand what you don't it's know. In it, it's just like you have the opportunity, man. It's been. It's just like it's just. You really look at history, and you really, really look at all that stuff. You're like, this ain't what it is. So George Washington is not real. Well, I mean, it's pretty. Is obvious. he real or not? He's real. He's real? Yeah. How do you know that? It's just enough and what's called empirical evidence to show that. What about Moses? Moses? Yeah, but we have empirical evidence by statues and what about Frank Sinatra? He's real, right? Because yeah, we yeah. saw videos of him and all that. Up, but like, George Washington, we never saw videos. We only we got hair in museums about him, but we never saw him. But you believe he's real. What's the difference between George Washington and Jesus Christ? I think it was easy for them to have a committee a hundred years after Jesus. It's just back in the day it was too easy for them to say, hey. If, if nobody says this version of Jesus, we're going to kill all your villages and we're going to keep doing it, keep doing it until y'all say this version and after, you know, two, three generations die, then that's the new belief. That's where relationship comes in. It's also yeah. Columbus then came over here and, and, you know. Yeah, but how do we know Columbus is real, though? People speak <laughs> See, I'm saying, like, it's, we mentioning people, but we have no evidence of them Columbus being real. One of the people that came over here. We say that he wrote, he wrote he letters they, they, and he did this, but what's the proof? They made people in Hispaniola speak Spanish. Like, nobody spoke Spanish in the Americas. Until I'm, not, I'm not doubting that Columbus or George but, Washington but is thing, not real. I'm not a, doubting that. Columbus I'm was, not saying. Columbus was a person that pushed Christianity, right? He pushed Christianity. He took the people that were written. They were uh, Mayans and Incas and Aztecs and all this stuff. They didn't know anything about Christianity on the side of the world. And he forced them to learn Christianity. If, if not, it was punishable uh, for death. You know? Uh -huh. And so I don't think that any, like, that's the only reason Spanish people are Catholic because of Columbus. So what do you believe in right Why now? Why would I believe in a religion that Columbus killed you for if you didn't believe so, in? So the question is, that's, what, what, do you believe? what do you believe in right now? Yeah, what do you believe I, in? I, I believe that I'm a good person. I got morals. Uh, that's the problem. I, that's I'm the problem. And I'm not going to But what makes you good? Believe. Why do I have to believe in the, in the, uh, why do I have to be a theist of the Christian version to be a good person? That's I don't it. Harm people. That's it. That's it, brother. You just, you just. I'm not even Muslim. I'm nothing. Brother, you, brother, listen. Uh, Floyd, right? Yeah. Floyd, you just figured out your own problem. Do, do you guys, you just see what just happened? All right, you want me to explain to you what you just said? No, yes, sir. All right, here we go. You said, why do yeah. I have to believe? Yeah. That's the reason why you think the Bible's not real. Because you have a problem with God, like I said in the beginning. Now, because things just add up to show because that. You think all right, all right, answer this, <laughs> Nobody on this side of America, let's say from Alaska down to Argentina or whatever, uh -huh. they were not Christian. They never heard of Christianity or whatever, right? Uh huh. They were, they had their own, uh, I guess you call them polytheistic Polytheism? gods. Yeah, poly, they had their own gods or whatever. You know, whatever, if that was real or right, uh -huh. that's not part of the argument. Let's say Columbus and his brother come down and they start marking up the world and stuff with all these people and they're like, look, you're gonna speak Spanish and you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn this Catholic thing. And if you don't uh -huh. do it, we're gonna kill you. Eventually they became successful. People that are, are Latino now don't even understand that like five years ago they were they weren't speaking Spanish. I, I even taught myself Spanish. I like Spanish culture. Well the point is that's not what they were. Just like after, just like I speak English, they're supposed to speak Spanish. Same thing. And then that's why they speak Portuguese in Brazil. It's the same thing. But 
they also force this religion upon them in order to control their minds. Now, is religion from God? It's from men. Exactly. That, that's why he answered correctly. It. That's why Columbus <laughs> used it to, to enslave yes. people. Yes. Yes. Religion is from man. Yeah. But it's not from God. No, nah, at this point, it's used to enslave people. So it's from man. It's on the money. It's not See, supposed brother, to be. You got money. that correct. You got See, that. You, you close. You're good, man. You, you, you just gotta accept the truth, bro. No, but look, you accept it. How many people get killed over this religion thing? Yeah, but Jesus why is it Christ that? Is not religion. All right, let me let me give you something. If Jesus Christ was, if listen to me, listen to me very carefully when I say this. If Jesus Christ is not real, why is it that the police in this city? Are watching me right now. No, 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 no. I said he is real. It's just whatever the Bible says he did isn't the correct right. version. Like, it's basically if I had a life and I had a legacy and stuff, and then a thousand years ago, people, now people research me, and it's, it's not so this. It's just Hitler? something funny. What about Hitler? Is Hitler real? Hitler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of evidence. Right. A lot of evidence. Yeah, right? videos, so we artifacts. So 66 books in the Bible. That speak about history. That speak about history and yeah. Jesus Christ. Archaeology, geology, so all of these people who confirm their actual places no, I in said the Jesus Bible. Is real. So Jesus Christ is real. His, his thing is Jesus Christ is real. God is real, right? Yeah. God is real. Yeah, yeah. But the Bible that's out today is, of God. Is, is not it's just, no, of it's God. Not genuine of God. God. So this Bible that's out today tells us about a flood. Mm -hmm. Tells us about the nation of Israel coming mm -hmm. back as a nation. Yes. In 1948, mm -hmm. in the Book of Psalms, I think it's the uh, the 19th chapter, the 48th verse. Yep. So, whoever put these books together, and you know, had to have been inspired you know by God. You know King David. Mm -hmm. You know all the kings. All the kings. Yes. So you know they so the, the genealogy from Christ. Brother, the the the, the case, the the the, re the verdict is you don't agree with God. I mean, I, I got to do my own investigation. But listen, this real thing. but listen, you can come into a relationship with God still right now. Stop but over. It could be a you brainwashed over, relationship bro. from what America wants you to do to become weak. It'd be messed up. It's my website right here. Here, go ahead, take it. I'll take the whole thing. Yeah. Hey, I, but look, I didn't come over here this way. Even when I yelled, it's a construct of the Jer uh, Roman Empire. I never cursed. You that's fine. Me? That's I, fine. Y'all like, know listen, I ain't no crazy. Like, you, blah, blah, blah. you have a right to your own yeah. opinion and you have a right to freedom of speech. We all do. Yeah. So that's why I ain't get offended when you yell. Yeah, I'm just yell, saying I yell, be... but that's not because of the distance. I'm just letting you know yes. I ain't no disrespect. Yes. Yes. There's I no offense. Like yes. yes. I'm trying to establish that. Yes. That's what we're all talking. We're fine. We're, we're all fine, good. man. Yeah, it's just the cops following you for this. That's yeah, the, that's they've been right. telling me ever since I got here. They just drove right by again. You got the militant. Oh. <laughs> that's probably why. No. I came here before without all of this. Without all they, they did the same thing. Yeah. Like that and the same thing. The same thing. Yeah. Yes. I was preaching down there in front of City Hall. They 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 followed me and they watched me. That's all they could do because God will not allow them to touch me. Yeah. No weapon formed against me. Yes. And let me tell you something. One year ago, over a year ago, I got arrested right here. Yeah. I got arrested right here in front of this bank. And guess what happened? I got released from jail. Good. And talking? the charges that they had against me were felonies. They all got dismissed. That's good. That's so you good. see, whatever God puts in place, no man shall remove it. Mm -hmm. Even if man says, we're going to move you and send you on your way, that word of God does not return back void. So I want you to understand that that Bible that I was just reading by is the word of God. Uh, what is it? I think it's 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. That this is not of any private interpretation. This Bible. Yeah. These men were inspired by the Spirit of God. Different translations, we can discuss that, and there's problems with those different translations because the Hebrew explains it, but God's Word is that Bible. It's just understanding the, the translations yeah. is where we all have problems and disagreements with. But it is God's Word. It's the Word that I live by. It's the Word that when I speak it, it goes out. It does not return back void. People react when this Bible is being read out loud. If it wasn't God's word, they would not react. They would just be like, it wouldn't do nothing to them. It would have no power. Nice. That Bible that I read by changed my life. I used to be a gang member. I used to shoot at people. I used to cuss. Every other word that I spoke all day long was cuss words. I was a very disrespectful man. I was all about women. I slept with many women. I did all that. And God's word, the Bible, changed me, man. So I want to ask you right now, 
What is it that you disagree with when it comes to the Bible? What is it that God, that you can't have that relationship with God? No, I, didn't, I never said that. I just said that. And when you look at it... Well, when you reject God's word, you don't, you're not... That's not being in a relationship with them because yeah, that's what you're missing. I, no, no, no. Like, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Bible's you have good. the information. You yes. got the information. Yeah, I have the information. I read it a few times. You don't have the relationship. Yeah, you have the information, but you don't have the relationship. Yeah. It's just when you when when you, when this view, it's just when you look at it from a real logical point of view, I'm like, ain't no way we got here. And then and then the tools that has been used by all the people over the years, it just seems very skeptical. But Noah's Ark is real. And, and, and also, I feel like maybe... And there's evidence of Noah's Ark. ...being real is 40 fake. You know, I don't feel the whole thing is fake. That, would be, that wouldn't be smart. But it's either all God's word is real or all God's word is fake. So, it's no 50-50. was a flood? Was there a flood? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Okay, that's what we did. Wait, wait, wait. You think so. I know about the <laughs> Nephilim and everything. That's just... I, okay. That means, so I think you, so. You, means you, know, I think. you know it's valuable. Like, the word of God is true. But it's you that's the problem. Man. It's sin. That's not a sin. That's, no, I'm not talking well, about We're not that. saying that, no, yeah, you know, yeah. we're sin. saying that it's a sin that's it's in your life right now. Yeah, that's a problem. That is trying to prevent you from coming into a relationship with God. Let me see if I can get a boost for you, man. I see, there's, there's a part about you right now, man, that wants God. You want God. I would you love to have it if, it if I could know what's up. But knowing how history plays out, how it played out from the best of my abilities of research, it just shows me that you're a smart guy. Like something it, like that. Smart. It just, it's just like, it's like it seems like it's producing sheep, and it's not right. It's just like it feels like. You know what? That person, that word that you said, sheep. He said, "Lord, you send us out as sheep among wolves." It says that in the Bible. It does. And what did Jesus say? Jesus said, "Yeah, I'm gonna finish this." Look, Jesus said. Then be soft as doves, wise as serpents. Okay. So Jesus Christ is God. God stepped into his creation, came around, and did something that none of us can do. Which is, he died on the cross for all our sins. Your sin is what separates you from God. That's what's message. separating you right now. Yeah, that's all you're missing, bro. Now you want. Now the thing is, I understand except what you want. No, except for they mentioned that they were they were supposed to walk on stakes, not crosses. Like that's a figure of but, imagination. But, there but, was no cross. It was a. How was do a you know stake. that? Nah. The Bible the says Bible that there Bible was a cross. The Romans, the Romans crucified. Yes, the they did. They did. That's they how did. they did it. That's how they did it. The but, thing is that you want to do what you want to do and you want God to accept it. Is that correct? No more party and like a crazy drinking sex out of Mario. Right. I was out here for work but it was canceled <laughs> and then work is closed till next Worship year. is I see right now that worship is a problem with you. Yo, worship. This, this, worship this, is I'm a problem. I'm just not going like I'd rather Rick, Rick, oh, man, it says, says but the but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God for they are foolish unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Exactly, that, spiritually discerned. Said, that's all that separates you. <laughs> that's where you got to get that. Spiritually discerned. I leave you with that, man. I'm not going to force listen, the word of God hey, to you. I got, you. I got a Bible. I like, I like listen to me. I got a Bible in my bag. I would bag. take it if I, if I got, like, right now I'm, I'm moving around and yes. stuff. But so I, you got the website. But I got access to a Bible. I wouldn't yes. even see, see you. So let this moment right now just. Plus, I work out here. So if you guys are around, I'll be around. Yeah. Let this moment right now just remind you, hey man, you know what? I need to look into God's word. And don't look for what you want. Look for what God says he is. Yes, amen. You know, because I, I serve God. I don't serve the way I think God is. Mm -hmm. I serve God himself, the way he says he is, the way he showed himself, the way he spoke. I don't look for a God that I want. How messed up would it be if you do all this and it's really some white person from thousands of years ago that is manipulating that to now manipulate you and you're, and you're honest to God, you're trying to do what's right. But really, it's, it, it's Satan because it's like, it was all messed up. And it, it, it seems nice, but it's like really manipulation. Right? Mm. What if it's that? that it's not that. And, and I know that. Man, but then it's like, yeah. You know, it's it's not wrong? that. What if you're wrong? No, right? That's what if you're wrong? And I don't. And, and if, don't you're wrong, if you're wrong, and if you're wrong, 
<laughs> eternity. <laughs> if you're wrong for you, ever for you. Well, that's the argument. If you're wrong, eternity. But if you're right, then join up because then if you aren't wrong, there's no problem against not being religious. So you're willing to take that chance? That's the philosopher's argument. I, I know about it. Um, yeah, I guess so because you don't want to take that do chance. Wrong. You don't want to take that chance because God chances. doesn't base. God doesn't look at good works and bad works. It's righteousness and holiness. It's faith that pleases God, yeah, man. It's faith that pleases God. God, you can sit here and be the best person you want to be. Yep. When I leave, the that's your standard, though. That's not God's standard. I leave out with food from this restaurant. I make sure I take extra. Just make it or make it out of work. Yo, you want food? I got people that know when I get. And out that work is and great that you do that, man. That's, but that's not going. People that I don't post on the internet. I'm telling you. It's it's not. It, look, look, it's so great that you do. That. It's great that you do that, and I want you to continue to do that. Yeah, yeah. Of course, don't stop. Yeah. But that's not going to get you to heaven. And I'm not doing anything to get to heaven. It's just something that I am. That's what I'm trying to explain. And that's great. I'm not like, hey, but God, God is not I'm looking doing. at that. He's looking at faith, righteousness, holiness. People who say, I'm a good person. Well, is it by God's standard of good? Because if it's God's standard, then it's not good. It's not good works. It's holiness, righteousness. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, dude, look at that. All right. I know you got to go back to your thing. Yeah. I got to run. God it was bless great you. talking to y'all, nice and, and it was a good, respectful conversation. Amen. And like I said, I work on 14 from Washington. Right. I'll be around. Amen. Right. Amen. God, God bless you. Guys around. God bless you. Bro. God bless you.